This question tests your ability to name a simple organic compound. On reading the question, we find that it asks us to give the correct systematic IUPAC name for the following structures. IUPAC stands for the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, and it's a body that sets official international standards. Now plan your approach. First we need to find the longest chain of carbon atoms, and choose the correct base for the IUPAC name accordingly. Second, number the chain so that the first substituent has the lowest numerical value. And third, add the substituents as prefixes in alphabetical order. OK, start solving. We could start at this carbon atom and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or we could start up here instead and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one is longer, so we'll stick with it. The base name for a chain that is six carbons long is hex. And since the chain is completely saturated, in other words there are no double or triple bonds or other functional groups, the suffix for this molecule will be ane. Now, looking at our molecule, we can see that this is the only group of atoms that we haven't considered yet. It's not part of the main chain, so it must be a substituent. Numbering the chain as we have puts this substituent in the three position. If we had started counting at the other end, it would be in the 4 position, so we should stick with our original numbering to keep the substituent as close to the beginning of the chain as possible. This particular substituent is called a methyl group, and since it's in the 3 position, we'll write it as 3-methyl. Now all that's left is to put all the pieces together. 3-methyl hexane. Double check that you've started numbering at the correct end, and that you haven't missed any atoms and you're done.